So hi, Mr. Venus Theory. Howdy doody, Buckaroonies. How's it going? We're here on uh, PSP Audio Wear booth, right? Yes, yes, at NAMM 2024, and I'm really rocking the whole like sports broadcaster look today. I'm kind of digging it. I couldn't wear the cowboy hat, unfortunately, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, so PSP, just a couple of quick new things to show everybody that I'm particularly excited about one of them, but let's get into the others first. Uh, as everybody knows and loves, we have Infinistrip. This is, I mean, how I mix everything because I am just extraordinarily lazy with this kind of stuff. Uh, very quickly, if you're not familiar, what I really think makes this special is we have all these different modules. These are all included with the plugin. As you would expect, you can uh, click to reorder the modules and all that, design your own custom channel strips. But what I really like about this is the parameter matching. So say I'm EQing something in a session, and I want to try a different EQ because there are different EQ modules. So normally you would have to either instantiate a separate plugin or go through, add another module, match all the settings and all that, which is insanely tedious. But instead with this, if you'll see these settings, I can actually flip through different modules in Infinistrip and they're retained. And this is for every single module, preamps, filters, compressors, EQs, limiters, all that. Uh, the only case where that's not active is something like the D Hummer to the D Esser, where obviously the parameters are entirely different. So the new thing with Infinistrip is actually the old timer module. This is based on PSP's old timer compressor. It's one of my favorite compressors they do. It's a very MU style compressor, nice and gluey and juicy. I would demo it here on this track, but I think it would maybe be better heard on the master track. So let me fire that up. So we're just going to flip over to old timer here, and I'm just going to bring this in on the master bus of the session. So we can just bypass this. Yeah. Gotta get a hear of that. Bring it in. A little bit of makeup going on, but. And if we really, really start to push this, I love the character of this, especially with a really quick release. You get that really growly, very MU juice. I don't know what you want to call it, but. Just to compensate here. Incredibly fat sounding compressor. Love it on vocals, love it on drums. Uh, on the master bus, there is the standalone version of Old Timer. There is also the Old Timer MB, a multi band version, which I like as well, but it's really nice to see that added to Infinistrip because I'm lazy and you know prefer using this for like most applications. So uh, moving along here into what else is new. PSP's console queue, I'm sure many are familiar with. This is a pretty old school plugin by this point, but it just recently got this new update with an analyzer built in. So this is just running on the synth uh, baseline here. So we have spectrum analyzer. We can have the peak display off, marked peaks, curved peaks. So this is sort of a pseudo FFT look. Uh, we have a range of 24 bands, 32 bands, or 48 bands. We can control the reference level, and for the RMS settings, we could have it off. We could display the bar RMS value or curve RMS value. So currently, we're seeing a peak and RMS curve. View-wise, we could see just the EQ, EQ plus spectrum, or the spectrum only. So just a nice update. You know, it's same old console queue does the same stuff, but we now have this new visualized spectrogram, which is handy for, you know, treating things. Yeah, I mean, people are so used to seeing them, right? That it, exactly, it, yeah. It kind of makes sense to have it even on a plugin that is kind of emula emu emulating like vintage Exactly, stuff. Yeah. yeah. So that's my that's my wish list item for PSP is I, if you guys see this after this, I really want something like that added to Infinistrip. That would be great. <laughs> uh, finally, uh, one last one I will show you here. BB Delay. This is a new alpha they are demoing here at NAMM 2024. The release timeline on this is, I don't know, but sometime in the next couple months. So BB delay, as the name would imply, is a bucket brigade delay. It's not modeled after anything in particular, just that classic bucket brigade delay sound. We have all the standard controls here starting over on the left. In the signal control, we have an overall tone, 
So just a bipolar or a bi mode filter so we can kind of darken it, brighten it up. We have the input level so you can overdrive the input of the BB delay. Master mix, we have the output, we can get wet only, we could swap the left and right signals. There's source controls, so left only, left plus right, or right only. A couple different drive settings here. So we have clean, which is, I mean, you know, a bucket brigade delay isn't clean, but it's a cleaner version. Drive or normal is now just normal bucket brigade, and then dirty is just a slightly more gritty version of that. In the center here, all your classic delay controls, delay regeneration, which is feedback. We have a tap tempo function here, uh, low and high pass filters. We have a time base, so multiplier here. Process mode, we have echo, dual echo, ping pong, and a reverb mode. So I'll touch on that more in a sec. We also have a double mode here, which adjusts the uh, sample rate and makes it a little more, Hi not necessarily digital, just like gritty, right. I guess is how I would describe it. Modulation system here, rate, depth, phase, multi-mode modulation down here. And as we get into the expander section, this is what I think is particularly cool. Uh, we have a transient control, so if you're not familiar with that, when you have a delay tap, like let's say it's a hi-hat and it's going duh, 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 but you want the echoes to be more spiky, you could increase the transient value. Or if you're doing something like uh, maybe rap vocals that are kind of sibilant and percussive, you might not want that transient information in the tail, so you can actually duck that out, which is handy. As well, we have a ducker here, so again, on maybe something like a vocal where the vocalist is singing, we want the echo out of the way of the singing, and then in between the gaps, it'll fill in. Gate is a gate. <laughs> Can't really describe that any better. And saturator here is just a more in-depth saturation section, so you can actually enable the secondary saturation stage, which is separate from the standard bucket brigade processing. We have depth, which is the amount of drive occurring, and three different shapes. There's soft, normal, and sharp. I want to say, but I may be incorrect in this, that some of these modes are based on PSP's saturator plugin. Uh, I believe the sharp mode is a new distortion algorithm, though. Uh, blend here is also a wet dry blend of the, the saturator, saturator, which yeah. is kind of unique. Is it That's pretty much is it. it. Uh, so I think the only other thing I want to talk about, but I'd probably rather show than tell, is this texture knob here. So if you're familiar with delay and reverb algorithms, a delay is just an echo, you know, dut, 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 dut. And a reverb is made up of many different delays at different times and different phase relationships. And for those of you familiar with something like Valhalla Supermassive, a free plugin, this texture knob is essentially doing the same thing. It's taking the delay and adding extra lines and different movements and whatever and swelling it out into an actual Bucket Brigade reverb, which is really cool. So just to show you that, uh, again, on the synth bass line. So completely dry. I'll crank that up a bit. Adding in the delay. Maybe add a bit more spice here. Maybe brighten it up and add a a little bit of saturation. So really lovely, gritty reverb sound. Ping pong mode. Super wide, especially as we get into swapping. And this may not be the greatest sound to demo this on, but if I crank the texture up all the way, Just a really cool, big, swelling sort of thing. Maybe I'll try and clean this up just a tick. I can, you, you can hear that that just spreads out and goes on forever, but it has that bucket brigade reverb thing that's really nice. Uh, the only thing I can think to compare that to, at least in my personal experience, is the Archuria Matrix Brute. It actually had an analog reverb that was a bucket brigade reverb, so this is that sort of thing, but now in a plugin. And yeah, that's pretty much everything new at PSP here at NAM 2024. Cool, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. See you soon.